All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just wanted to share. Um, something was on my heart. Um, um, dealing with stewardship. Dealing with stewardship. And it was just on my heart. I took a quick nap. And I said, you know what? I just felt led to talk more about stewardship. Uh, when I learned about stewardship, I shared a post the other day. When I learned um, about being a good steward, I stopped praying for money. When I learned how to be a good steward, I stopped praying for money. Um, in the early stages of my salvation, um, early st and I'm talking about being an adult, um, as, as I matured and started working and things like that, I used to always pray for money. Had had great, good jobs, um, maybe drove nice vehicles, all that kind of thing, but I found myself always either running out of money, always praying for money. And believe me, I was a tither, all that good stuff. Um, tithing is a kingdom principle because it deals with giving. So some of you say, you know, I know we're in a New Testament age, and that's another conversation for another day. But tithing is a kingdom principle because it's still a way of giving, okay? Nothing wrong with tithing. I just encourage people to seek the face of God on what you should give, and you'll find out you'll give more than 10%. I've done it. I'm a living testimony of it. But stewardship is the key. Steward, stewardship has changed my life. And once I started practicing, practicing stewardship has impacted my life major. Um, I guess the example I want to share um, is dealing with, you know, at one point in time, I was working for the state prison. I got back into corrections for a short time. And I was also teaching at, 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 uh, at that time, I was teaching at Cheney High School. I was an educational assistant, so I'm in education. Um, and then as well as state prison, my wife just started her business. So I was using uh, the school money to really, really help push her business, um, so on and so forth. And then I was waiting for a, a school contract. I kept telling my wife, as soon as I get the school contract, I'm waiting for, I can quit working at the prison and then boom, it happened. And I left the prison, went full time at the school. I was still working at the Y, but I took a $5 pay cut. I think I was at the time making maybe 18, close to $19 an hour at the prison. We were getting raises like crazy every quarterly, every year, all that type of stuff. Every time the cost of living went up, we got a raise. So listen, I was getting raises like crazy working at the prison. And um, when a school contract came through, I was like, man, I can just kind of work both a little bit. And the Lord spoke to me so clear. He said, son, okay, it's time for you to go. You've done everything I need you to do here. You've been the light that I need you to be. He says, it's time to transition out. And it took a step of faith. It was definitely a step of faith. It took a $5 pay cut. And I had some expenses. I had things that I had already purchased, things I had to pay for. And as a witness, I didn't miss anything. I took a $5 pay cut, but I was still able to pay for my bills. I was able to take care of my family. I was able to still do some of the things I love to do for my family as well as myself. And I took a $5 pay cut. And what am I saying? It was that even though I took a $5 pay cut, um, it was I was practicing good stewardship. Good steward. I became a better steward of my time which also saved me money. Uh, when you are when you become a good steward of your money, you will find out that there was money you already had. Sometimes we have a tendency to pray for money and ask God for money, and we're doing check in advance places, we're getting loan after loan, and we're just occurring debt. I'm trying to help the kingdom of God. That's the reason why the Lord put on my heart to write kingdom stewardship, because I want to help the people to understand what the kingdom of God is about and how to be a good steward. That's the reason why God pressed upon my heart to write kingdom stewardship. And so I really want to help the body of Christ to be a good steward because when I became a good steward, I stopped praying for money. I stopped praying for money when I became a good steward. When I became a good steward over my time, when I became a good steward over money, I found out that, wow, I had all I had more money than I than I could imagine. I didn't when I started being a good steward over, over my money, God was showing me the money that I had and how I was using it. 
and it seemed as if I didn't have it. But when I began, began, began to be a good steward over my money, I found out that I had more money. And when I found out that through stewardship that I actually have what I used to pray for, then I said, oh, wow, I got to start managing my finances better. There's some things I needed to stop doing that was going to bring more increase to me. Uh, when I started being a good steward over my time, not just paying my bills on time, but being a good steward over my time had added increase to my finances because when I stopped going some places that was unnecessary, you know, just spending money, okay, just spending money in certain places. And I'm like, wow, I don't need to go here no more. Why am I going this place, spending this amount of money? I'm wasting gas. I'm wasting time. So when I found out that I was starting to be a good steward over my time, it saved me money, that I was able to use the resources, that those financial resources in other areas whether it was savings, whether it was investing, I was able to use my financial resources in other areas. It was able to add increase to the household. So now I have extra money, not only just to save and invest, but now I have extra money to pay off some things that um, I didn't know I had the resources to do. Oftentimes we pray for things and we don't even realize God has already given us enough finances. The reality of it is we're not good stewards over our finances. So we think we got to pray and beg and fast and pray for, for more money. And it's like, no, when I learned how to manage the finances coming in, I learned how to be a good steward over those finances that I, I stopped praying for money. I don't even pray for money. I don't even think about money. I'm going to tell you what God began to do to help somebody that may tune in, may tune in later because I was a good steward over my time. And it was adding incre financial increase because I was a good steward over the finances that was coming in. And, it, and, and I seen the finances that I had. Can I tell you, promotion. God started um, blessing me with more finances because I was a good steward over the finances that I was currently, what I currently had. We, we, we always quote that scripture, you know, just being faithful over a few things and then God will make you rule over much. The, the scripture is actually real. When you learn how to be a good steward over um, the finances that you currently have, God will begin to open doors and add increase. God began to promote me. God began to um, um, add increase financially through other financial institutions, through my jobs, through promotion. Um, listen, my credit score went up when I became a good steward over time, not just paying, not just paying bills on time. I want, to, I want to show you, because I was a good steward over my time, that added increase um, to my finances, because I was a good steward over time, and then I was managing my finances better. I was able, watch this, I was able to pay off debt that increased my credit. Why? Because I was a good steward over time, and I was a good steward over, over the finances that I had, okay? So I'm, I'm here to tell you the importance of stewardship. This is all about the kingdom, all right? This is what the kingdom is about. God has given you gifts. He's given us time. He's given us financial resources. He's given us a body. And we have to be a good steward over all of this. Some of you are looking for a, a miracle as far as your, your body and your health. And the reality of it is God gave you this body, but you have to be a good steward in how you take care of the body. You have to be a good steward in how you take care of your body. Yes, you have to watch what you eat. Yes, you have to watch the things that you're doing. You have to be a good steward over your body. If you want to see, listen, you're talking about God performing miracles in your life. Listen, God can perform a miracle if you learn how to take care of your body. If you stop eating and stop drinking and stop um, doing some of the things you're doing with your body and start exercising and taking care of your body like you're supposed to, you will see miracles happen in your life. See, see, people are just getting surgery after surgery that, you know, to, to remove fat and to remove this. People don't want to work out. They, people don't want to work hard. People don't want to eat right. Listen, I'm here to tell you the reason why there's so much premature, premature death. And it's in my book. The reason why so, pre, so much premature death in the body of Christ is because we don't take care of this body. And we preaching God, we preaching Holy Ghost, but you don't take care of your body. And then, then, then we try to, then you try to blame it on God. The reason why, oh, I, I look like this and feel like this. No, it's your fault. God says, I gave you this body. I created you in my image. 
I gave you this body. You're supposed to take care of this body to help build my kingdom. But you ain't. You don't have good health because you don't take care of your body. You're eating the wrong things all the time. Listen, that stuff is killing you. Reason why you got high blood pressure is just not because it's hereditary. It's because of the simple fact that you eat unhealthy all the time. You have no self-discipline. So listen, I'm talking about good stuff here because this is the reason why God pressed upon my heart to write kingdom stewardship. He has to learn about the kingdom of God, but then also to understand the importance of stewardship. Stewardship changed my life. It changed my life. I stopped praying for money because I learned how to be a good steward. Once I learned how to be a good steward, I found out I had more money than, than I thought I had. I was able to invest, do other things. And I just shared with you, my credit score went up. Why? Because I used, I was a good steward over my time. I was a good steward of the money I had. And then I was a good steward of the increase that God had gave me. So I used all of these, being a good steward, all three of these areas, I was able to pay off debt. I was able to pay off unnecessary debt that I accumulated because I was a good steward. Not only did it increase my credit score, but it also gave me opportunities to other financial resources, okay? Even my credit card limits went up, which um, increased my, um, and I forgot the proper term right now, uh, it, 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 it'll come to me dealing with credit, my utilization. It increased my utilization, all because I was a good steward. There were so many perks and benefits when we learn how to be a good steward over our body, when we learn how to be a good steward over our time, when we learn how to get, be a good steward over our, our, our finances. Remember, money is a resource. You just have to know how to use it. The problem is we don't know how to use it. Okay, that's just the problem. That's the problem. And it's not everybody, but majority of people don't know how to use their resource. We spend it on foolishness all the time. Am I still guilty of some things I spend my money on? Yeah. And do I got to get better? Yes. Have I mastered it? No. Haven't I got much better? Yes. Have I seen increase in God adding increase financially, health, all that good stuff? Yes. Because I learned how to be a good steward. And my stewardship also started with my relationship with the Lord. My relationship with the Lord went to a whole nother level when I practiced stewardship. See, I'm just talking about some natural things that I have benefited spiritually and naturally. But when you really understand kingdom stewardship, your relationship with God goes to a whole nother level. And so, you know, um, and, and I'm trying to share that with the body of Christ. I'm trying to share this with believers, helping them to cultivate a healthy relationship with the Lord. A lot of believers, you are saved. You are filled with the Holy Spirit, all that good stuff. But your relationship could be so much better with the Lord. But you have to understand the importance of kingdom. You have to understand the importance of stewardship. And when you put those two together, listen, it's a dynamic duel. It's a dynamic duel. And stewardship has changed my life. And I'm sharing this all because of being a good steward. Being a good steward. Being a good steward, listen, even for my wife, you know, it has impacted her life. Her credit score is better than mine. Because I started, I gave her some 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 simple stewardship things and her credit is better than mine. Her credit, her business, everything took off at a new level, more resources because she's being a good steward over her money. She's saying, wow, I got more than I thought I had all because she's being a good steward over her money. It's changed her life. It's changed her credit. Okay. So I'm sharing these things because listen, in, in kingdom stewardship, you need good credit. Yes, you need good credit. God has to be able to trust you in his domain, which is his earth. He has to be able to trust you. So you got to be a good steward over what God has already given you so he can add increase. God wants to increase your life, but you got to be a good steward over what God has already blessed you with. Some of you are praying and fasting for increase. But you're not a good steward over what God has given you. God is not going to give you increase. You can fast. You can fast until you lose 100 pounds. God ain't going to add increase that way. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm trying to help somebody on today. 
Some of you fasting and praying for increase and Lord, give me this. No, if you're not a good steward, God ain't gonna add increase. When I became a good steward, God added increase. God, God added an increase to the ministry. God, why? Now, mind you, my wife and I, we do not get paid salaries. Every, every bit of money that comes in, we give that to the ministry. We pray to the Lord. The Lord puts upon our heart what to give, and we give it to the ministry. God has opened financial um, doors that we can add more increase to the ministry so we can be more of a blessing, not to this who we serve, but to the community. That's stewardship. All because we're a good stewardship of our finances, we were able to give more to the ministry so we can be a blessing. The Bible tells you it's more blessed to give than receive. You can't be God and giving. I'm trying to help you about uh, uh, kingdom stewardship. That's what the book is about. I'm trying to help change your life. You have to be a good steward over your time because when I was a good steward over time, it added financial increase. It also helped me health-wise, okay? Because I was a good steward over my time. It blessed me in finances. It blessed me in health. And, and majorly, it blessed me in my relationship with God and spending time with him. Because I was a good steward over my time, I was able to spend more time with God to get, to get what I need from him. The spiritual things I need to get from him that then trend, uh, that then also uh, the, the natural things that came with it as well. But because I was a good steward over my time, it added financial um, increase to my finances. I'm trying to tell you how much stewardship will change your life. You have to be good over the finances and the time and your gifting. Okay, you want to see God enhance you in the gift that he's given you? You got to be a good steward of it. You got to you got to utilize your gift to glorify God. And when God sees your heart and how you're using your gift to glorify him, listen, the anointing that's upon your life will enhance that gift. Because the Bible says your gift will make room for you. It would open doors. My gift, because I was faithful to God, using my gift for him, not for the world. I'm not using my gift to glorify this world. I'm using my gift to glorify God. And when I was faithful to God and using my gift to glorify him, he opened more doors that opened more financial opportunities. And then I was able to be a bigger blessing to those who needed the gift and the, and the oil on the gift. This is God. I'm telling you how stewardship change, will change your life. Stewardship will change your life. All because I was a good steward over my gift. I used my gift to glorify God, not this world. I sold my soul to the Lord. I gave my soul, my heart, everything to the Lord. And he has enhanced and increased my life to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. That's what it's about. Practice stewardship. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's a kingdom principle. I must learn to seek God first. Think of Psalms 63 and 1. Seek him early. That's a kingdom principle. I'm giving you kingdom nuggets. You have to seek God early. You have to seek him first. It'll change your game. You seek him early and you seek him first. Then that helps you to steward over your time. Just because you sought him first, he helps you to steward over your time. I'm giving you a nugget. I'm get, and I've been doing this for years because I've been in ministry for years. And I've learned how to seek him early and I seek him first. And he's helped me to steward my time. People ask me all the time, man, how, how are you able to do all this ministry? How are you able to go to the prison? You're going to Teen Challenge. You're doing nursing home. You're doing street evangelism. You're preaching on Sunday. You're teaching on Thursday. Man, and then you got a family. And then you got two jobs. And then you got this. I was just in Cincy because I worked for a, a, a company called Empower. I've been with them five, six years. They're out of uh, Kansas City. They're in all 50 states. And if I'm correct, I'm the only one that works for the company in Youngstown. And I was had, and it was an honor to represent Youngstown in Cincinnati, educating educators all over the globe, all over the United States. And then the Empowered is also in India and also in Canada, on top of the 50 states. So I was able to do this. What am I talking about? Stewardship. Because I was a good steward. When you're a good steward, God would add an increase to your life. 
when you're a good steward. He would add increase to your life when you're a good steward. Add increase financially when you become a good steward. Add increase his health. You got to take care of your body. Got to be a good steward over your body. It's all in my book, but you got to be a good steward over your body. Got to take care of your body. Your body that God created was to glorify him. You got to take care of your body. That's part of being a good steward. So listen, I'm going to jump off here. Wanted to share that. Um, my book is on Amazon. I will share that link on this live. You can purchase it on Amazon. You don't have to go through me. have two publishing companies. Give a quick shout out to my spiritual brother in Tennessee, um, Pastor Casper Quarter um, and Lady Shafan. Uh, Shafan, God bless y'all. Thank you all. Um, you all have been a blessing to SIG Ministries, blessing to the kingdom of God. And a blessing to my wife and I, and, and he's been a blessing to me um, since we've been connected. Um, we just we just pour into one another, and he's been a blessing. And, and with his um, expertise, with his gifting, he's been a blessing to me that I'm able to publish this book on Amazon, as well as Lulu. So I have self-publishing. You can still purchase through me, but then also it's easier now. You can purchase my book right on Amazon, and I believe it will impact your life and change your life. Um, so listen, I'll share that link. Um, but I pray what I've shared has blessed you. Be encouraged and practice stewardship. Practice stewardship. It will change your life. God bless you.